everybody. Welcome back to the Show and Tell Show with Penetang Machine Centennial Museum and Heronia Museum. And this week we're meeting up to show something from our respective collections that is black. It is also this Friday, according to Jan, as she informed us last week, National Hat Day. So we all came wearing funny hats. Some of us need to reclaim a certain hat and make it cool again. <laughs> this is what all the cool kids yeah. are wearing here in Central <laughs> Springwater, Ontario. So with no further ado. And I just ado, like to mention that my hat came from the Huronia Museum gift shop. That is right, it did. That mm -hmm. That is did we're all the cool kids shop. That's right. That's right. And at the Penetang Machine gift shop in the museum. That's true too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's where they shop. The too. super cool ones are here. The super cool ones are here in the Zoom chat. So <laughs> um what's the challenge was something black from the collection and Heroni Museum, we threw out that challenge. So we're going to show you what we have from our collection that's black. All right. Okay. Uh, so I have something that is black. It is made with black ink. These are prints that were made by Wabashin area artist Ted Lord. Uh, they are all lino cuts. And um, so I don't know if you can see this very well. This is the uh, lighthouse at Turning Rock. It used to be the lighthouse over at Midland Point until 1915, and then it was moved over to Wabashin. So we've got mostly local scenes, although there were a few from other areas. We've got uh, the old St. Andrew's Hospital. I like that. This will be interesting for the Penetang folks. We've got oh, St. James oh, of Lines. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the uh, big shoot. Oh, it is too. It's current incarnation. Yeah, the big shoot. He also made um, cards. So we've got a New Year's card here. Oh, cute. And a Christmas card. And lastly, this is one of the, lin uh, the lino cuts. So you just carve linoleum and then... Yeah lathered it with ink, a real thin coating of ink, and then pressed it. He had a press, which I did not bring with me. Uh, and this is actually, we do have a copy of this in the collection, uh, a print of this. And this is the rat hole or the hole in the wall over, uh, and this is Highway 12 that used to run under the hole in the wall over by Port McNichol. Huh. There were lots of accidents there until I think it was about 1972 that the highway was moved and uh, anyway, so that's the hole in the wall, a really well-known landmark in the area. So there you go, Ted Lord. So it's kind of like relief work on vinyl, and then he would ink it and stamp it. That's that right. Basic theory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Cool. What have you got, Penetang Machine Centennial Museum over there? Well, we know we're supposed to go with black. But, you know, we're a little rebellious. We do no. have black, but it's black and white. But the very significant part of it is black. <laughs> so, yeah, I couldn't get off of the whole hat theme for this week. And so the first thing I thought of was oh. what I thought here is a <laughs> the Oh, H lovely. Nice. Tang. So um, if you know, um, during uh, the Navy, starting the 1930s, but especially in the 1940s during World War II, they would name all of their naval ships after communities all across Ontario and Canada. And I do know there is one called HMS, HMCS Midland as well. But the one for Penetang was a frigate. And here's a picture, black and white, of, of the frigate. Um, that was built in Quebec City, and it went, um, it was shipped from Newfoundland, uh, St. John's, to Londonderry in Northern Ireland. And then I also have some pictures of some of the men on the ship, and they're black and white, and then wearing the cap that H says HMCS Penetang. And then I have another one here. And uh, yeah, so I just thought this was like a neat little 
when I thought of like black, I guess it was sitting in my office because I needed to put it in storage. <laughs> I thought that'd be interesting. And uh, yeah, that's my artifact. You doubled down. Do you know, were there, were there any men from Penetang that served on the HMC? No, there was not. Um, oh. A few years ago, they did have an okay. anniversary at the local legion. And we had a list of all the names that were part of the HMCS Penetang. And there was not anybody from Penetang Machine on that um, frigate. But yeah. But another fun fact is, okay. so we had a frigate named after us. Midland had a Corvette named after them. So our boat was bigger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. More boat smack talk. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So really <laughs> awesome. What's our challenge from you for us next week? Um, we're going to go back to a letter next week. Oh. So we're going to go to the letter P. The letter P. All right. The letter P. We okay. can do that. All right. We can do that. Okay. So that wraps up another episode of the show and tell show with our funny hats. I had this way before last week. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you all next week, same time, same channel. <laughs> Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye.